through the res through the residential areas, they need to place topsoil instead of stone, and they're going to seed and mulch that. And the plan denoted that, but it just showed the whole plan being that way. So I'm going to look at it again because back from Whitmer's, that needs to be ag into the turn, and that's about the only area in the day. Yeah, most of it can be. So I'm, I'm going to change the room of language a little bit and add this to it. Uh, we'll have to talk to them. They tore the drill to rig down and nobody called us about Visa Mill. We had to read it in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. and that was one of the stipulations on the last room. So I did add that to this one. Uh, but I would like to have some more time to look over yeah. before we do the... Well, they're not here tonight. Yeah, so it gives us a little bit more time. Um, Which kind of surprises me. Yeah. Because they're always here. Yeah. I did receive an email from Brett Banker regarding the payment was on the way, Pat. The what, please? The payment was on the way. Uh, For that, what, five cents? Yes. And he said they didn't have any notes concerning Kirk Road. So, as far as the Well, we'll see if we can fix it. Right. So, we will look at that. Uh, That's in the marks. Yes. Uh, last thing I have is, you know, regarding, I, I, I just made a statement before the meeting, uh, I've recently followed different governmental bodies regarding the desire for them to receive a portion of the casino revenues that the county commissioners are receiving. Although I do not disagree, in my opinion, the county commissioner should use this windfall of, windfall of revenue to supply additional funding for the county sheriff's office. Sorry. The sheriff's office budget was cut by 15%, and the sheriff is only able to provide two deputies on afternoon and midnight shifts for the whole county. If the sheriff would receive these casino dollars, Every person in Columbia County would benefit, not just governmental entities. It is sad but true that in today's world, we as residents need better protection. This is one way the commissioners could provide for the safety and the welfare for all of Columbia County. I implore them to do what is the best for all residents as they were elected to do. So I guess. We've seen a lot of getting the money back because of the LGF cuts. My opinion is that they should take that money and give it to the sheriff's office instead of coming back to each local entity. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to pass a resolution that we would send this down there and say that the money should go to the sheriff's office. How much money are we talking? The first check was ninety-three thousand dollars. The first quarter to the county. To the county. To the county. Yep. That's one deputy for a year. Yep. For a quarter. And it remains to be seen what the other dollars are going to be for the rest of the time. Might be because it was just new. Yes. Yeah. Right. So. Might be next month. What's the county do with it? They're, they haven't decided to. Everybody's wanted a piece of pie. Every, every MC around yep. it bounced them for a portion of it, which if you divide that up between 18 townships and all the other villages and everything, what's that leave? It's not going to do anything. It's not going to impact anything no. in my book. No. I, I think we'd have a greater impact and it would help the residents of this county to throw that money in the Sheriff's Department. Every year, the Sheriff's Department. towards the end of the year are looking for money. And they have two roadway deputies to cover the, what it would come in the county is the eighth or ninth largest county in the state. Uh, so. Well, can we invite a county commissioner? I think that that would be a tremendous idea. Let's get one of the county commissioners here. To because there's 18 townships or what, I don't know, half a dozen municipalities in yep. that. Um, 
even if we could come up with some kind of formula, because there's some townships that need the money. And I, I'm just a little apprehensive to make just a blanket ruling here. Uh, you know, we could, that's, you know, back out of it. But there may be some other townships that they would need the money. Sure. And there may be some villages that actually need the money. Um, yeah, but it, that, that's 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 we're talking about pennies on the dollar there, aren't we? Ninety thousand isn't pennies. That's just one check. I don't know how much money it's going to be. That's why yeah, on the revenue of the casino brings in. Yeah, that's why I'd like mm -hmm. the the county, well, county commissioner come here and say, hey, what are you guys going to do about this? Because historically, the sheriff's department has always had financial wealth. I mean, that's something that's gone on for decades yes. in this county. Yes. And in today's times... So this, this would be a good time for the commissioners to say, hey, let's get something together here because of all the departments that I'm aware of, like the sheriff's department probably is the department that's the most needy of all accounting offices. Yes, it is. And the most important. So, well, Bert might disagree with that. <laughs> <laughs> but let's get everybody on the same page and come up with some kind of formula because uh, there may be an estimate. I don't know how much money. If we're getting a million dollars a year, or if we're getting a half a million dollars a year, then let's come up with a plan. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, he didn't say anything last oh, at the meeting Wednesday night, last night. Anything no, about they, that? Never, no, never no. touched on it. No, never no. touched. It was candidates' nights last night. Oh, that's right. So they didn't really get into it, you know. But Sheriff Stone didn't get up and speak, and he did. Know, yeah, and he talked about his fifteen percent cut. Uh, he talked about only being able to provide two deputies, one to the south of 30, one to the north of 30. Uh, and, and in his own words, there's no way that we can control that, we can pro can control that adequately. Mm -hmm. Not with what goes on today. No. So. But if we could come up with, have it as a need-based arrangement, because if it's coming into the county, well, let's have some kind of plan that is dispersed on a need basis. Because it's like it's like free money. It's extra money. It's extra money. So let's put it where the holes need to be patched for the for everybody in the entire That's county. That's kind of the way LTS used to be. Yeah, that's what it used to be. So why don't we do it the same way? But we're going to have to get everybody on board. All the townships, everybody, and Steering some of them. Where you would start with that, I would think. Well, I don't know. Because you know, has no influence over the city. I, I can see that. the point where the other townships have all taken, the, like we have LGF heads. Mm -hmm. You know, but but I think if you would think outside the box, look at redirecting that money to the sheriff's office, every one of us township would benefit right. and enhance police protection. So. Let's get something going with the county commissioner because that's where it ought to start. Yep. So let's invite, or they can all come. I don't care. A commission, <laughs> you want to invite a commissioner to attend a meeting? Yeah. Any of them. And let them stew on it for a while. Let's come up with a plan. What do you want? Do you want something put in a motion to invite them, or do you just want to do it? No, I'm just call. Who do you want to call? Read the paper Who do you want to call? Hello. Who do you guys want to call? Hi. Any help? Oh, I have, sir. All right. Um. Well, folks and fellows, we're legal. Now for another four years with the Ohio Sunshine Laws. I brought back a book, anybody who wants to look at it, and then the certificate. Uh, my name's on the certificate, but I went there for all of us. And Pat, you 
they're going to start auditing this stuff. Well, when we did before, they're in the file. They're in your file. Yeah. But we passed a, a motion where I was the designated representative for the entire board right. with that. So we're all, all of us Can we all have a certificate? I'll put each one in their yeah. file and... Uh, and take care of that. Um, just FYI, guys, last time you left the book, we have the 2010 book, you wanted it out here. Is that, you didn't want to do that anymore? We've, What's that one? It's the 2010 book, and you had these, it's been sitting here for <laughs> two years, I guess, in case we oh. needed it. I thought the same book. The reasoning, well, the 2010, you have the 2010. I just wanted to let you know, for some reason at the time, you thought it should be out here. Well, good, keep that one. Keep the old one? Okay. I didn't know if you had to replace it. Before they listed each, so there's only one certificate now. Yeah. It doesn't say for everybody on it. Mm -hmm. But that second page, when I when I applied to get signed up, I listed everybody. Only the attendance individual receives a certificate of completion. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have car washing on here. Yeah, it does. It does? Yeah, on the Oh, there it gets typed on. Yeah. Okay, so this is the addition of that study. Yeah, all you need is a certificate and a resolution, and then we're in good shape. Alan Winger sent me a fax last week regarding our. Uh, gas and oil contract. The uh, Chesapeake would like to include the cemetery on Cook Road, which is 1.1 acres, there's three parcels, 0.12 and 0.5. We had a discussion about this last time that while well, we were going to stay away from that, but there is a drilling rig going in there this is going to be part of the unit whether we want it or not. So I needed some guidance here. What do you what do you want me to tell Alan that yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Because it's the only one that's affected of all of our cemetery. And they're going to be eight, nine thousand feet down under the ground anyhow. So what do you guys want me to tell? Um, that would be fun. I, I believe but that, that I would that I would go ahead with it. I mean that that parcel of ground, the the, the parcels all around it mm -hmm. are going to be included in this well, right? Right. Yeah. Everyone so, there is part of it. So it doesn't make any difference if we lease or don't lease. They will, in fact, use that right. land. Right. We'll just have to go through a process where we'll be pulled into the unit. Yes, sir. Is this what we started a long time ago? Or is it? Oh yeah, it's been like eight months. So seven months. What is there? Oh, never mind. I should ask that. I'll be eight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what I need is a motion permitting me to respond to Alan saying that the the 1.15 acre piece, the 0.12 acre piece, and the 0.5 acre piece on Kirk Road can be included in the drilling unit. I'll, I'll move that motion. Just one moment, please. Okay, what you what you want to do is um, for Bob to include the 1.15, the 0.12, and the 0.5 piece on Kirk Road to be included in the uh, in the drilling unit. Correct. Along with the other four parcels that okay. we've uh, offered up. Along with the other four parcels that we're already on the. Yeah, we already told them about the other four.
Do I want to say they're already on the lease? Proposed lease or well, we haven't seen a draft yet. Yeah, it's right. in the works. He's negotiating. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Mr. Hum? Yes. Mr. Garland? Yes. Mr. Meyer? Yes. And then the gas aggregation program that we have, I received another fax here where they're asking me to sign this agreement. And what it does is it permits them to receive a list of the township customers for this year to, to opt out for the opt out notice. And they do this every year. We've done this before. So I need authority to sign this and send it back to us. Can I just look at it? Email. I'll move that motion. Or that's a copy of a copy. It is Columbia Gas. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Right? Oh, sorry. Okay, thank you. Mr. Hum? Yes. Mr. Garwood? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Meyer? Yes. And Jill Henry and myself have been playing telephone talk today. She's from the PUCO Railroad Division regarding the crossing here. I went out there and looked at that crossing. It's well marked. I mean, we've pretty much done everything but put mechanical gates up. So I haven't had a chance to talk with her because the information she got is misleading as to what's actually out there. Because we've got the yellow markers, the road markers, the, the sawbuck posts, the yield signs, and it's painted on the road. I think it's all there except for us to say with the gate. To the main mechanical gate. Gates. So gates. Is this the one we had that other one? Yeah. yeah. So I wanted to make sure that she was aware of what was going on out there. And let's see, prosecutor called me regarding the property on Kirk Road, so that's supposed to be in the works. If we're lucky. Our guys that applied for the position. Yep. I called all of them. Well, between no, I, we got hold of all of them or they contacted us one way or another. Uh, Saturdays are good for all of them except two. Uh, one of them works every other Saturday, so he would be available on some of them. The other one works till noon every Saturday, so he would be available like by 12:30 or so. Okay. What do you want to do, with her? I'm good on Saturdays. Okay. Well, I can't do it this Saturday. Why don't we set something up for the 13th? Uh, got one little issue. And that's the one Saturday else would like to know. Uh, the, the Saturday that that guy works is also the 13th. Well, there you go. There's the reason. <laughs> There's one other. Uh, if I figured this right, when I spoke to him, he told me he works every Saturday and he was working that Saturday. So if I follow this through correctly, that is one that he would be working. All right. Well, the 27th is the next Saturday that I can do it. If it has to be the 13th, I, I can make it work. I'm going to need it by then. Well, yeah, and that one guy won't be able to come on that Saturday probably. Well, he works till 12.30. No, one of them works till 12.30, one of them works all day Saturday. All every day. other Saturday. Okay. <coughs> so what do you guys want to do? we got to start the process. Even if we split it. That, that's that's a good day for me. What? The 27th. The 27th. You said that's the first time you did the first Saturday you got loose, right? Yeah, the 6th and the 20th, I'm tied up. But the 13th and the 27th, I'm available. So you want to try and do something sooner than that? Because that's what's on. 
That's a hike of three weeks. Yeah. I'd like to talk to at least some of them before that. Because the process, if we wait to put her the 27th, then we have to make a decision. Yeah. That's going to put us in mm -hmm. November. Good. Stop waiting for this.
Mel's hours. Are we going to put him on Denny's schedule, paying him twice a month? Are you going to meet him on his bi weekly? So what are we going to do there? Denny just paid twice a month. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the guys are on every two week basis. What's easier for you? Every two weeks is easier. I mean, it's all on the same get go. Why is he different? It's always been that way because he's been on a monthly basis. Yeah, Harold. The supervisor was always, yeah, Harold, the supervisor was always, always that, way. that way too. Hmm. That was way back. That's always been. Yeah, that way. I don't know. I don't know when it started. I know Harold um, recently started at least part of the time because he'd come in and hand out checks and um, he didn't get one. Yeah. Same same drill. That's the way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't really care. Whatever's easier, Pat. If every well, other week. Then you have to come up with how to do that and the, and the dollars to do that. Right. Mm -hmm. And then the rate. Mm -hmm. We can probably discuss that with the 20 foot ball. Yeah. Think about it so we can. For the 18. Because Mel. Yeah, you're right, the 18. Like mm -hmm. Mel's on hours right now, so with these hours here, just have to include those in us. When's your last day? 31st of October. Yes. Halloween. <laughs> I plowed snow on Halloween before. I might as well retire that. True. That was bad that one. It's a pagan holiday. <laughs> could be trick or it could be truth. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think that's all I have. Motion to adjourn? So move. Second. Pat, here's your stuff. What if I, Bob didn't have the world?